So uh, I'm gonna play you a song called Yamba Mapasa, which is um, a song from the from the Bakongo tribe. So I learned this. Uh, I was in a village of my, my of my father two years ago, and I learned this from my my brother-in-law, who's a musician, traditional musician. So, uh, and I, I developed this song from his idea. really based on on this on this which is something that they always do in their song they always it's sort of a vamp that, that they always do and it's also interesting because it's in it's in G major but they have this this B flat That's very, very character characteristic of uh, of their music, of the Bakongo music. If you listen to the, if you, even when they sing, they would never, but not never, most of the time, never really hit the, the natural first. Da, 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 go, ah, all, all of the time. And uh, so it's, it's interesting because this vamp has this. The B flat. So it goes to... to my, my my left hand basically i'm starting with the the middle finger there and then the index and then we've got a the d open d and then a and c and then the open d again so if i go from the e e E flat, D, A, C, then back to the to the chord to the G. We're in G major. It's kind of this this arpeggio thing. This is actually something very very uh, important for like a, a lot of African music, but more specifically Cong Congolese music is arpeggios are always used. They always come back. So stuff like that. So they would always come back. So it's very important to you know, to, to know the arpeggios. But I'll talk more uh, more about it as we go along. So we got this uh, start there. It's like on the beat. One, two, three, four. So that's the first kind of start. <laughs> 